Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, SpaceX Static Fires Super Heavy Booster 9, U.S. Coast Guard detects 16 unauthorized UAS during Seattle Seafair event, Airshare to acquire Wheels Up's aircraft management business. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. SpaceX Static Fire Super Heavy Booster 9 SpaceX has performed a static fire test of a new Super Heavy Booster at its Boca Chica, Texas Starbase launch facility. While the ignition of 33 Raptor rocket engines proved a memorable spectacle, the test firing yielded both favorable and unfavorable results. The ninth such first stage to be built under SpaceX's iterative design ethos, Booster 9 survived the test, appearing afterward to have borne the flame and fury of its plethora of constituent engines admirably. Moreover, the modifications made by SpaceX to the Starbase launch platform, which include a rebuilt launch pad and an enhanced flame suppression system comprising a massive perforated steel plate through which jets of water emit, seemingly endure the super heavy booster test firing with aplomb. Back in April 2023, the test launch of SpaceX's mammoth Starship vehicle blasted the original Boca Chica launch pad more or less to oblivion. The positives notwithstanding, the super heavy test firing fell short of its planned five second duration, terminating after only 2.74 seconds. Moreover, four of the stage's 33 Raptor main engines shut down prematurely, thereby indicating SpaceX is struggling still with the reliability of its proprietary engines. Coming up after the break, National Air Force Museum acquires Tuskegee Airmen Trainer. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. National Air Force Museum acquires Tuskegee Airmen Trainer. The National Museum of the Air Force curates upwards of 360 aircraft and missiles. The museum's collection was further broadened by the acquisition of a Stearman Boeing PT-17 Cadet biplane, a World War II era military trainer. The specimen is one of only two extant aircraft in which Tuskegee Airmen trained. Virgin Galactic completes Galactic 2 mission. Virgin Galactic, the California-based spaceflight subsidiary of Sir Richard Branson's Virgin Group, has successfully completed its Galactic 2 mission, the company's first private space tourist flight, though the vehicle did not reach a height above the Kármán line, off stated to be the barrier to actual space. Galactic 2 achieved a number of so-called historic milestones. NASA works to restore supersonic passenger flight. NASA, by dint of its Quest mission, has set out to return supersonic flight to the purview of the world's commercial airlines. The program is predicated in part on Lockheed Martin's X-59 Quest, an experimental supersonic aircraft being developed at the storied defense contractor's famed Skunk Works. Utilizing data gleaned by virtue of the X-59, new decibel-based regulations governing supersonic flight over continental regions will be developed and codified, thereby facilitating the emergence of new faster-than-sound commercial passenger and cargo markets. Cessna Sky Courier Granted Brazilian Certification Textron Aviation, the parent company of Beechcraft, Hawker, Cessna, and Lycoming, announced on August 8, 2023 that Cessna's new Sky Courier twin utility turboprop has been awarded type certification by the National Civil Aviation Authority of Brazil, thereby heralding the aircraft's entrance into Brazil's dynamic and expansive aircraft market. The Sky Courier is an intuitive fit for Brazil's diverse geography, remote environs, and growing demand for air transportation. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. U.S. Coast Guard detects 16 unauthorized UAS during Seattle Seafair event. 
The Coast Guard employed counter unmanned aircraft systems capabilities in collaboration with the FAA, Seattle PD, and Mercer Island PD to enforce FAA issued temporary flight restrictions over Lake Washington during 2023's Seafair Weekend Festival in support of the event's constituent air show. Seattle residents generally associate Seafair with the Torchlight Parade, Seafair Cup hydroplane races, and performances by the U.S. Navy's Blue Angels Flight Demonstration Squadron. 2023 marked the first year in which USCG counter UAS measures have been employed at Seafair. Throughout the event, the Coast Guard detected 16 UAS operators violating airspace restrictions during the H-1 Unlimited hydroplane races and Boeing Air Show. Officers from SPD and MIPD were able to contact eight UAS operators and provide education on airspace restrictions as well as safe UAS operations. One operator was cited for reckless endangerment by the Seattle Police. Coast Guard Incident Commander for Seafair, Commander Scott McGrew, stated, quote, Unauthorized UAS can be extremely dangerous to airshow pilots as well as spectators. Our robust partnership with the FAA, Seattle Police, and Mercer Island PD is vital to ensure unauthorized UAS operators are intercepted and educated on safe operations and reminded of the FAA temporary flight restrictions put in place to support the airshow, end quote. Coming up after the break, Airshare to acquire Wheels Up. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. Airshare to acquire Wheels Up Aircraft Management Business. Airshare has signed a letter of intent to purchase Wheels Up Aircraft Management Business. The deal is expected to close in 2023's third quarter. Wheels Up Chairman of Operations Dave Holtz connoted his company's eagerness to work with Airshare, setting forth, quote, Airshare has our same dedication to the customer and focus on extraordinary service, and we believe this will be a great destination for our managed fleet and team. As we look for a strong partner, Airshare's commitment to aircraft management and overall customer experience stood out, end quote. Founded in 2000, Airshare brought fractional ownership to businesses in the Wichita, Kansas region before expanding its services throughout the central U.S., in 2004, the company moved its operation to Kansas City and opened its Lenexa, Kansas headquarters. In 2019, Airshare further broadened its services to upper Midwestern cities the likes of Chicago, Louisville, Cincinnati, Milwaukee, and Indianapolis. By virtue of its deal with Wheels Up, Airshare's aircraft management business stands to gain a nationwide reach at once consistent with the company's long-term expansion plan and the accelerated growth of its aircraft management, fractional, and charter programs. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.